Things you should know about Black Mamba. Before we getting know about it please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get more interesting videos. What is the Black Mamba? The Black Mamba has quite a reputation. It is one of the world's deadliest snakes. It is the fastest land snake in the world, and, the longest species of venomous snake in Africa and the second longest in the world. This snake's potential danger has been the subject of many African myths and it has been blamed for thousands of human deaths. The black mamba's reputation is not undeserved. Black mambas are extremely toxic and very fast snakes, Viernam said. They are highly aggressive when threatened, known to strike repeatedly and to inject a large volume of venom with each strike. Their venom is potentially lethal, and though antivenin exists, it is not widely available in the black mamba's native habitat of southern and eastern Africa. For this reason, they are considered a top killer in a land where nearly 20,000 people die from snake bites every year. Range and Characteristics Black mambas live in the savannas and rocky hills of southern and eastern Africa. They are Africa's longest venomous snake, reaching up to 14 feet in length, although 8.2 feet is more the average. They are also among the fastest snakes in the world, slithering at speeds of up to 12.5 miles per hour. They get their name not from their skin color, which tends to be olive to gray, but rather from the blue-black color of the inside of their mouth, which they display when threatened. Behavior Black mambas are shy and will almost always seek to escape when confronted. However, when cornered, these snakes will raise their heads, sometimes with a third of their body off the ground, spread their cobra-like neck flap, open their black mouths, and hiss. If an attacker persists, the mamba will strike not once, but repeatedly, injecting large amounts of potent neuro and cardiotoxin with each strike. Venom Before the advent of black mamba antivenin, a bite from this fearsome serpent was almost always fatal, usually within about 20 minutes. Unfortunately, antivenin is still not widely available in the rural parts of the mamba's range, and mamba-related deaths remain frequent. Encroachment on the black mamba's territory is not only putting pressure on the species but contributes to more potentially dangerous human contact with these snakes. Habitat Black mambas reside in South and East Africa's savannas, rocky hills and open woodlands, according to the University of Michigan Museum of Zoology's Animal Diversity Web. They like low, open spaces and enjoy sleeping in hollow trees, rock crevices, burrows, or empty termite mounds. Habits These speedy serpents can move faster than most people can run, a fact that partly explains why they are so feared. Viernam said, black mambas are one of the fastest species of snakes, reaching slithering speed up to 12 miles per hour. This is undoubtedly fast, but still slower than the myths of them outrunning horses would suggest. Over longer distances, they average about 7 miles per hour. They slither quickly in short bursts over level ground, and can zoom along with about one-third of their bodies off the ground and their heads proudly held high. The black mamba racing along with its head nearly four feet in the air is a terrifying and amazing sight. However, according to National Geographic, black mambas use their incredible speed to escape threats, not to hunt. Black mambas hunt and are active during the day and return to the same place every night to sleep. According to Widescreen's Archive Initiative, they are often seen basking in the branches of a tree in the early morning, before going hunting. Black mambas are sometimes found in pairs or small groups, though Viernam emphasized their fundamental shyness. She said that they are shy and secretive snakes that prefer to escape confrontation. Nevertheless, black mambas can become highly aggressive if threatened. Their defensive behavior is their most distinctive behavioral characteristic. When threatened with no perceived available escape, these snakes will raise their upper body off the ground to stand erect, Viernam said. Their front third of their bodies can rise three to four feet off the ground. Then, they will spread their cobra-like neck flaps and gape their mouths to expose the black lining. This is a defensive posture aiming to scare away the threat. If black mambas need to attack to defend themselves, they will strike repeatedly, potentially deliver large doses of venom with each strike, and hiss loudly. Then, they'll slither away as fast as possible. Diet. Black mambas typically eat small mammals and birds, though according to Blue Planet Biomes, there have been reports of mambas found with whole parrots or full-grown cobras in their stomachs. 
In his book Black Mambas, Adam G. Klein wrote that black mambas hunt by biting their prey and injecting venom, then releasing it. They then follow it until it becomes paralyzed or dies, at which point they eat it. It doesn't usually take prey very long to die after being bitten by a black mamba. Black mambas devour their food whole. They have flexible jaws that they can dislocate in order to fit food up to four times the size of their head into their mouth. Reproduction. According to the University of Wisconsin La Crosse's BioWeb, black mambas usually mate during the spring or summer. Males fight for the affections of females. After mating, females lay between 6 to 25 eggs in a damp, warm burrow. The female leaves her eggs and never sees them again. Babies hatch about three months later and are born measuring between 16 and 24 inches. Bite. Just two drops of potent black mamba venom can kill a human, according to South Africa's Kruger National Park. Like cobras and coral snakes, the venom of a black mamba contains neurotoxins, Viernam told Live Science. She described the venom as fast-acting. It shuts down the nervous system and paralyzes victims, and without anti-venom, the fatality rate from a black mamba bite is 100%. Fatalities from black mamba bites have been documented to occur within as little as 20 minutes after injection, said Viernam. However, most known fatalities have occurred within 30 minutes to 3 hours or longer. Taxonomy, classification. The black mamba is one of four species of mambas, according to the Integrated Taxonomic Information System. Others are Jameson's mamba, Eastern Green mamba and Western Green mamba. Mambas are in the same family, Elapidae, as coral snakes and cobras. Mambas are slender, agile and active, with smooth scales and powerful venom. They all live throughout sub-Saharan Africa. If you like the video please give us a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And stay with us for more updates. Thanks for watching.